Okay, so CD Projekt Red have put their hands up and put out an apology, which is fair enough. Fair enough, if you mess up, sometimes you gotta put your hands up and say, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they've done this, but this apology leaves me with a couple more questions than it actually does like solutions. I'm just gonna read it to you. Dear gamers, first of all, we would like to start by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last gen consoles before it premiered, and in consequence, not allowing you to make a more informed decision about your purchase. We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PS4 PS4 or Xbox One. Now firstly, I've got a PS5 and my friend has an Xbox Series X. We've both had crashes, we've both had bugs, and we've had a lot of problems with the game. Despite both liking what they're going for here, this first statement doesn't even address the fact that, you know what, this isn't just a problem on the base last gen consoles, this is a problem with your game, fundamentally. Now I understand that in this age of the internet, people always want to deliver in the best they can. You go on Instagram, people have photoshopped themselves to some degree, used a filter or anything like that. They show you the best parts of their life to make it look better than it is. Cyberpunk done the exact same thing. They showed you the game in the best possible way, which obviously is to a degree false advertising, but at the same time, you can't really blame them in, a, in an era where everybody does this, right? If they had shown you that this game was running on the PS4 and the Xbox One as it was, you would have told them, wait, 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 don't put this game out. But instead, you said, we need this game right now, we need this game right now, we need this game right now. So they're in a very difficult position. The next part of this statement basically says they're not going to have this game fully patched until February. So at the very least, they should have been mature enough to hold on to this game until February. They should have said, you know what? This game is working against us. We cannot get it to a point where we can put it out confidently. We understand that you've already pre-ordered it, but rather than keep pushing it back a little bit by a little bit by a little bit, they should have made a decision early on to say, you know what? This game has to come out next year. There's too much complications in 2020. We need to push this back. Which, in the year of 2020, most people would have went, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair enough. You know, it, it, you, you know what? It's not been the best of year for any of us. Let's just, let's just, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. You've made some great games. We appreciate your honesty. We're going to wait. Now, I know there would have still been this group of people that would have been annoyed that they had pre-ordered a game for a certain date and stuff, but those people will always be annoyed. There's not so much you can do about that. What they shouldn't have done is get everybody annoyed by rushing this game out to try and think they can please everyone. You can't please everybody, and when you do it in a way that comes off dishonestly, that doesn't help out at all. So, where does this leave Cyberpunk 2077? Right, for me personally, as I've said, I enjoy the game. Yes, I have many a problem with it. Yes, if you've been watching the stream, you've seen a lot of the bugs. I think the most worrying thing about this statement is while they say second up we will fix bugs and crashes and improve the overall experience, that still doesn't address the fact that this game has a core problem in basic things. Things like the AI, and the physics, the general two elements you need in order to build a realistic feeling world, no matter how far into the future it goes, no matter how far back into the past it goes, you still need to be able to create things that make it feel realistic. And that's what this game currently fails to do in comparison to games that have come out much earlier, in comparison to not only like GTA V, or, you know, say, Crackdown, or, or Saints Row, something along those sort of lines. But, you know, like, going even into recent times, a more, like, established version of this would be saying, well, look at, you know, Watch Dog Legions. Like, 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 I just don't understand how they can think that most of the problems with this game are the, are, are the few things that people are complaining about, like the bugs, like, I, and the crashes, like, those are just two things that just shouldn't happen anyway. But in a game where you're meant to be building a sense of immersion, right, when, when you want it to be the most immersive experience, you haven't even, fa like, you haven't even managed to do, like, 
like basic RPG things, let alone basic world building things, as I've said, like having the physics works, not having cars flying through the sky for no reason. I saw a car just come crashing down, like out of nowhere, when I was playing offline, um, out of nowhere, land upside down, then explode, and the people that it exploded next to didn't even react to it. And then on top of that, they assumed I shot at them. So I got into a gunfight with them over a completely... That's that's not the sort of like random world events that I'm looking for, to be honest with you. You can fix all of these issues that you've said, the bugs, the crashes, and the overall experience. But I do not think two patches... I don't think come February... You're gonna, you're looking at the issues enough to know what's really bad with this. Um, you put this game out as you did. You know, you, 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 look, I've said fair enough you were rushed into it, but you still made the decision to put this game out as it was. And doing so kind of makes me feel like you don't really know what's wrong with this game. It feels like you've tackled a project that's way too big for you. I'd like to cite No Man's Sky as an example, because what CD Projekt Red need to do right now is take a leaf out of their book, you know? Go a bit silent. Issue out the refunds, sure, do it, you know? Work on this game and work on this game some more. Get these patches out. Making people wait up to two months, I can guarantee there's still going to be issues with this game because they spent however long on it and there's still issues with this game. Take the L. Improve the game. Get it to the point where it's going to work perfectly. Or as best you can. And then go above and beyond. That's what you owe to the gamers. An apology is fair enough. But if you don't act on this properly. And you don't seal the deal. Then it's just going to be another case of being dishonest. And now I understand that you needed to say something. And I understand that regardless of all of the backlash, hopefully I'd like to think you would want to work on this game anyway, seeing all of these problems, right? But at the same time, I don't want this to be a situation where you've been pressured because everyone's been so mean. And while I don't agree with the way that people are handling this, even on my stream, I've had people come in and just try and be absolute dicks about this game. People that haven't even played it, you know, just they've seen that it's the trend to hate on it right now. I'm happy. I'm so happy with all of the great memes we've got out of this. I think that's fine. I think if something's really bad, we can poke fun at it. And we as a community should find a creative way to out creative the wrong problems with the, with the game. You know, we should, we should all come together and laugh at this. But what we shouldn't do is get to the point where we're actually issuing out death threats or making people feel like that their life is not worth living just because they released a game that they shouldn't have and, and they tried their best, essentially. Like, it may not be up to the standard that you personally held them to, but they've tried their best and they're going to keep trying their best to fix this, I hope. I agree. They were shady in the way that they delivered this. But at the same time, if you have to sink even lower just because of a game, that, let's face it, most of the people making noise probably didn't pre-order the game. Like... Or have already got a refund. But they're still mad. To the point that they're actually going to be unreasonable. And I think it's just better. If we just find a fun way to do that man. Upload the bugs. Have fun that way. You're more likely to get a positive response online. And by that I mean. Coming together with other people that think this game is shit. But by not being a dickhead in the process you know um so yeah th those are my thoughts and feelings um on this apology i i feel like it is potentially damage control if they don't you know overall fix this but at the same time like any any real game developer will will not be happy with with this game it's obvious they wanted to push it back as much as possible but they felt pressured into doing so now is the time to act you know now is the time to act it's, it, it, we're coming into a new year, man. Uh, hopefully by the time we get to February, <laughs> this game will be looking good. I know that's not an ideal outcome. I'm going to finish the game by that point anyway. I have no problem with all these bugs and stuff. As, as much as I do, my biggest problem is just with the crashing. The bugs and the glitches, I find hilarious. Someone starts walking through the air, cars are flying, all of that stuff, whatever. Like, it's, it's hilarious to me. It's actually fun. <laughs> like, in its own way, it's actually fun. Um, and what's here 
at the core of it is a very good idea. Just the execution needs to be worked on. And I really do worry that they're not looking at the right elements of the problems. But at the end of the day, all you can do as another person is accept someone's apology. You know, get your refund if you've got to get your refund or give them a chance. Give them a chance. At least they didn't crank the price up. At least they didn't do something where it was like, oh, we're going to charge you 70 for the cross-generation version and things like this. At least they tried their best to keep it reasonable and they knew they were walking into the lion's den and they knew what they were going to face, but they did it anyway. Um, and, now they, and, and again, they're facing this, this, this ravenous public, uh, again, even just by issuing this apology. And I didn't want to get on the bandwagon just to be like, it's shit, you have no chance in hell. But I think we should definitely discuss what the real issues are here. And hopefully CD Projekt Red really work on this across the board and don't just try and iron out a couple bugs and crashes because there's a lot more to this game that needs to be worked on until it gets to that point that is okay. That's my thoughts and feelings on it. I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings on it. Sorry that I went on for a little bit there, but I feel quite passionately about this game and rightfully so because I don't want to be on the side that absolutely thinks it's terrible, but I also don't want to be on the side that's saying that this game is great and gets an absolute pass either. It's very, very down the middle and we've had a few games that have also done similar things this year. Valhalla crashed out my PS4. Call of Duty crashed out my PS5, you know? But... For some reason, cyberpunk has become the focus. And this isn't mainly because of the developer. This is because the fan base gassed it up. And now the fan base is mad that they gassed it up. And now they've turned on each other between the people that are still trying to stay positive and the ones that were there on the sidelines just being like, this game can't be as good as people are gassing it up anyway. And the people that completely gassed it up have now full full 360 on them. 180, not 360, 180 done themselves to just be like, you know what, this game's shit and it's your fault for making me excited about this. The reason people are annoyed about this is because they were looking forward to a good game. So if we can get this to a good game, then all will be forgiven. That's my thoughts and feelings. As I said, leave yours in the comment. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.